Hello, hello everyone and congratulations on making it to step four in your STEPS Young Engineers Award journey. Now, I hope you've been enjoying your adventure so far. To get this far, you'll have followed all the steps that real engineers take when bringing an idea to life and creating something new. You've been inspired to create a project that helps solve a problem in your local community. You've brainstormed lots of ideas and solutions. You've worked very hard with your teams. You've created drawings, designs, and you've just finished building your first prototype. And I think that deserves a huge congratulations already. Yes, yeah, exactly, exactly, yes. All for you guys. All right, all right, all right. Pipe, pipe down, pipe down. I hope you all enjoyed the building process in step three, using lots of different materials, working together in your teams to bring your idea to life. And maybe things changed along the way from your original idea or design. And I tell you, I and the steps team cannot wait to see all your pictures and your project books, but your job, as young engineers is not complete yet. We still have a very important task to do. One of the most important actually in any engineering project. We have to test and evaluate your project and make a report. Mm -hmm. As young engineers, you'll know that engineers spend a long time making sure the designs will work. And as young engineers, you know that sometimes things don't go as planned. And as young engineers, you'll know that that's okay and it's part of the process. The key is to learn from this, what worked, what didn't. Did some of you try to use chocolate as a material despite everything we discovered in step three? Did somebody make a toilet paper umbrella or a steel hammer or, oh wait, oh no, that was one of, that was one of the good ideas. Very good, <laughs> see? This is why we need to write things down in a report, so we document and learn from our discoveries, so we, or even others, can learn from what we've done and improve upon it next time. So to help show you the importance of making an engineer's report, I think I'm going to have to go international again. So put on your cardboard raincoats, your paper sunglasses, and grab your marshmallow helmets, because we're jetting off once again. When engineers finish building and testing a prototype, they don't just pack it away, they report on it. They write down what went wrong, what went right, and what they discovered along the way. And sometimes the test goes perfectly, but most times something breaks or doesn't work as planned, and that's okay, because in fact that's brilliant, because that's where the learning happens. The report is how engineers turn mistakes into improvements. It's how an idea becomes better until the next time. Back to the prototype of our two-cylinder steam engine. This wasn't built to power a train or a factory, but to test an idea. Engineers made this smaller version to find out what would happen if they used two cylinders instead of one. So they watched how the pistons moved, how the steam flowed, and how much power it made. Then they took notes. What worked well, what needed fixing, what needed more work. That's what engineers do. After every test, they report their results. Because every time something goes wrong, it's not a failure. It's a clue to make the next design even better. So when you're writing down your report, think like these engineers. Tell the story of what you tried, what you learned, and what you'll do differently next time. Reporting isn't just about writing things down. It's like detective work. Engineers look for clues. Why did that happen? What changed when we tried this? And what can we do next time? Every note, every measurement, every little observation helps solve the puzzle. Because great engineers don't just build things, they figure out why things work. And that's the real secret behind improving every design. Every great invention we see today started with someone writing a report. When engineers test their prototypes, the results don't just stay in a notebook. They help the next team improve the design. One report becomes the blueprint for the next breakthrough. So when you guys are finished your report, remember, you're not just ending your project, you're helping to start the next one. <laughs> what a place. To help you write your report, your project book will be really useful and contains lots of questions that will help spark discussions about your whole experience so far. And it's a really good idea to discuss the answers to the questions as a team first before writing them in your project books. This step will not only be great for recording 
everything you've discovered as you work on your project, but will also really help someone else when they're reading it. It'll help them understand your ideas, your designs, your thoughts, your solutions, and your engineering mindset. So the steps team and I are your teachers and the judges will be able to see how you solved your problems and how you fixed them. So this step is split into two parts. In your project book, you've got part A and part B. So let's go through them quickly, just before we send you off to reminisce about the good times. What an absolute tune. In part A, we want you to tell us about your prototype. How did you build it? What does it do? And explain all the features. And this is your chance to tell us about all the amazing work you've done to get to this point. So be proud of what you've achieved together as a team. Tell the world about your fantastic prototype. And remember, you've been working on this for quite a while, so something that may not seem important to mention to you, but it's our first time seeing your prototype. So include all the details, big or small. And we all know that building a design can be challenging and often lots of changes need to be made. So tell us, what did you find difficult when building your prototype? What were the problems and what changes did you make to help solve these problems? When engineers build something new, it almost never works perfectly the first time. And building a prototype can be tricky. Sometimes the pieces don't fit together or the idea in your head doesn't work out in the real world the way you imagined it, but it's not a bad thing. That's where real engineering begins. Because engineers don't hide problems, they talk about them so they can learn from them. Well, they shouldn't anyway. <laughs> Have a look at this prototype Tesla coil I made many, many moons ago. It's a much smaller version of the one we built at Explorium, like a little baby brother. A Tesla coil is an invention by electrical engineer and inventor Nikola Tesla back in 1891. And no, not, not 91 minutes past 1800 hours, the year 1891, over 130 years ago. It uses high voltage, high frequency electricity and can create huge voltages and a massive electromagnetic field. And we use it in Explorium to create amazing lightning shows, dazzling displays of lightning shooting around the room and the thunder from the lightning turned into rock and roll music. Tesla would be proud. But I built this small prototype many years before, way before building the huge one. And I learned lots of things that helped me make a bigger version of this and a better version. This smaller version broke many times. I had to replace a lot of the parts and I was able to learn from all of that and apply it when I built my next bigger version. So now this prototype just sits proudly on my shelf, but it paved the way for my ultimate creation. So in your engineering report, I want you to tell us what was difficult for you when you were making your prototype. Did something break? Did you have to change your plan? Did you try something that didn't work at all? This is all good information. When the judges read your report, we actually love seeing the changes you made. It shows us you were thinking, testing, adjusting, and solving problems, just like a real engineer. Remember, mistakes and changes are not failures. They are clues that help your designs get better. Then it's on to part B, reflecting on your project book. So not just the prototype this time, but your whole journey. Tell us, how could you have made the design better from step two, if you were to make it all over again? When you think back over your whole project, you've actually already done a lot of the real steps that real engineers do. First, you had to brainstorm ideas and come up with lots of possible solutions. Then you had to choose one and focus on it and draw a design that showed how it might work. After that, you made your plan, collected your materials and built your prototype. This is exactly what professional engineers do in the real world. They imagine it, plan it, and they try it out in real life. Next, we want you to think about the most important thing you learned about being an engineer during this project. Was it learning how to improve an idea? Was it discovering that designs sometimes need to change? Was it learning that teamwork helps solve problems faster? Was it that chocolate would be a delicious but terrible choice of material to build a bike from? <laughs> or maybe you learned that engineers never give up. They keep testing and improving. So take a moment and write down the most important thing you learned. And there's no right answer. The important part is that you're thinking like an engineer, asking questions, solving problems, and learning from everything you tried. That is how amazing inventions are created. Okay teams, it's over to you. Time to start working together on your report.
Now, when engineers finish the reports, they like to share the results with others. So we would love for you to take part in the next step, step five, where you can present your project. And you can present it to each other, a steps volunteer, an invited guest engineer, your families, or another class in school. And you can find out more information and there's loads of resources to help you prepare for your presentations online in your digital resource packs. Take a deep breath. Be proud of how far you've come and get working on the report. Mark, signing off for now. Very good.